Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to test an ignition to see if it's working or not. Before I get started, I just wanna mention two things. Number one, if you want a copy of our free product catalog, just go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out that simple short form, and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also wanna say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically gonna get entered into a giveaway. We give away a free mobility scooter once a month. All you have to do is just hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? It's easy, just hit that button, forget about it. I'm gonna show you the last winner on the screen so you know it's legit and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're here. We're pulling up to the uh, Lucky Winners apartment building and we're gonna bring the scooter up to her door and we're gonna get the reaction on video. I'm pretty excited, this is awesome. I mean, we're giving away a mobility scooter to someone that truly needs it. So stay tuned, we're gonna go up the elevator, it's on the third floor, and we're gonna present this custom scooter to the winner. Oh, I like that. Oh, thank you. You like the scooter? We're giving this. I was gonna say, you look like you can run a marathon. You don't need a scooter. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yeah, they, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh yep. my gosh. I'm so happy for you. Hello. Hello. It's good Here to meet you. Oh, God bless you. You won. All right, so I'm just we're here with petition. Gloria and she's got her scooter that we're donating and all she did was subscribe to our youtube channel about a year ago <laughs> i said it's a godsend that i got this it's a miracle really i needed it desperately well it's it's something we're really happy to be able to do gloria thank and, you and we really appreciate those kind words and it's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you subscribed and good luck to you if you did. So again, we're gonna show you how to test the ignition on a mobility scooter. Now, there's a few different ways to do it. Number one, if you notice that when you've got the key in and you're turning the key and you jingle it, it kind of intermittently goes on and off then you probably have a loose connection on the, on the uh, ignition. So if you're, if you're getting power when you jingle it around like that and it's turning off and on, or if you like really push it inwards, or if you pull it up a little bit, it connects. Usually that's due to the fact that these two wires that connect to the prongs on the back of that ignition unit are coming undone. So sometimes if you pull back on the heat shrink, you could see the soldering job coming apart. So you'll want to re-solder it to the exact same two connectors that it was originally connected to to solve that problem. You may also want to tighten that nut that holds it onto the dash or tiller assembly so that it's nice and tight and it's not shaking around. That's the first thing you want to check. Make sure those two soldering points are clean and good to go. Now that I have these two solder points exposed with the um, heat shrink pulled back a little bit, we're going to take our multimeter, which if you want to troubleshoot a mobility scooter, this is a must-have tool. You can pick one up at your local hardware store. Amazon sells them. You do want a multimeter, not just a voltage meter, because what we're going to do in this case is use the continuity feature. So I'm going to rotate my dial to the continuity testing setting. And that's got the little, looks like a Wi-Fi signal pointing to the right and a little arrow with a line going through it. And that's gonna allow us to test continuity. Basically what's gonna happen is, it's gonna check for a closed circuit. So these two circuits, if I touch them together, it should beep. And that's good. That means the circuit is closed. When we take it apart, the circuit's not closed and it's not beeping. Now with an ignition, basically what's happening is when you turn the unit on, the two red wires form a closed circuit. When you turn the ignition off, it breaks the circuit. So there's voltage and basically that's how the voltage carries through the ignition or stops at the ignition. So with it off, there's no pass through of the voltage. With it on, the voltage is passing through from one side to the other and coming back into the controller. And that's what gives it the signal to turn on. So right now I've got the 
key in the off position. I've rotated it counterclockwise. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test both ends of those probes where those red wires are going, and it should not beep, right? So boom, I'm, I've got them on the two little metal pads that it's soldered to, and we're not getting a noise, and that's normal. Now, if I turn the key on the ignition clockwise into the on position, we should hear a beep because the circuit is now closed, and that's gonna deliver power to the unit. And what do you know? We have continuity. So that means that this ignition is working as it should. And that's it. I mean, there's really nothing else to it. It's pretty simple. We have other videos that show you how to test your throttle paddles, which is a potentiometer. And you will test that using the ohms feature on your multimeter. Same thing with the speed control knob potentiometer. Most mobility scooters have a speed control knob as well as a throttle paddle or a rotation throttle on the handlebar. They all kind of have their own ways of being tested. And if you go to our repair playlist on our YouTube channel, we have videos to show you how to test all of these different components so that you can do some troubleshooting at home. If you're an existing customer of ours, we will offer technical support. If you're not an existing customer, unfortunately, we can't support everybody in the world that has a mobility scooter, but we make videos like these so that you can hopefully learn how to troubleshoot it at home and for technicians around the world to learn more about troubleshooting and diagnosing faulty parts. Again, my name is Sergio. I'm with Mobility Direct. Keep us in mind, if you need a mobility scooter, we do sell parts, batteries, not just scooters. Scooters are all tax-free, free shipping in most cases. So visit our website, claim your free catalog. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.